some focus on me. What's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. We are out in the desert. Um, I got a new uh, LPVO for my AR and we are gonna zero it today and then just, I don't know, have some fun. I, I don't know what we're doing yet. Just enjoy. So I have my 20 millimeter lens on the camera right now. Might have to switch it off because sometimes it doesn't really like to focus. Um, but the picture does look a lot better. I think the blurred out background and stuff looks a lot cooler. But got our AR right here. So if you didn't see the last video on the Dead Air Sandman, go back, watch that video. A little cool can. And then we do have this AR build. I don't know if you would really call it a build. It's really a stock F1 Firearms AR uh, Magpul stock grip. Um, for grip, this I just cut myself because I don't grip it like this. I grip it more like that. So I didn't really need it. Kind of bored one day, did that, and that's why it actually looks like this as well. Because I was bored, but we're here for the LPVO, which uh, we'll get into in a minute. So I got the target set up over there somewhere. Probably can't see it that well on the camera behind me, but we're about 36 yards away. Um, we'll go over, I guess, why I decided to go with the 36 yard zero as opposed to a 50 or 100 or anything like that. But got this, let's just get set up, try to zero this thing, then we'll just have a little bit of fun. I only bought three mags with me, so just gonna have a little bit of fun, not too much fun. Then really not important for you guys, my carry gun, when I mounted this optic, I just went with the little like blue Loctite that was already on the screws. Guess what? It loosened up, so got that remounted, so I'm just gonna confirm zero. Probably just have to adjust windage, not so much elevation, but gonna do that too while we're out here. And contrary to popular belief, my name is actually Chris, not Johnny. Just thought it was a cool channel name, Johnny Utah. It's Keanu Reeves, if you know the movie that it's coming from. His name is Johnny Utah, Thank I'm you. in Utah. Johnny Puta. So I wanted to clear that up because I feel like in the last video Utah. I might have mentioned Chris Give me two. and for the few people that watch it probably like who the hell's Chris. That's me. So I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna go to range Chris now and then he's gonna be doing some shooting. Then we're gonna come back to talking Chris and we'll just close some of this stuff out. So right off the bat, I think we're really low left, so let me just go confirm that and then we'll start making adjustments. I was aiming here. Little bit of a difference there. So I guess we'll just make sure that we have enough adjustment on this, then maybe we'll just decide if we're gonna change our zero, but hopefully there's enough adjustment, so I just gotta come up a shitload, to the right a shitload. Then we'll shoot a couple more. Shoot the top ones. Check it out. I don't know if you guys were able to tell from uh, the last video. Not very scientific on this channel. This uh, zero, I think I got a perfect, um, however many clicks it is to adjust. Just kind of got lucky. So I'll just show my groupings really quick. Um, so like you saw, first groupings were down here and I was aiming at this dot up here. Uh, literally turned it right a bunch of times, up a bunch of times, I didn't even count. And then we got up here. So um, windage was actually pretty damn good, just elevation a little too much. Then this third group, we're aiming at this dot here. I'm just going with those or movements because that one I feel like I fired off exactly when I wanted to fire it off. And we're basically dead center. So if you kind of bring all these groups together, we're pretty good. I could probably like make like one or two click adjustments, but I'm not getting that crazy with it, at least right now. Um, it is pretty easy to adjust if I need to adjust in the future. Just pull off the little caps from the turrets and just clicky click. But let's have some fun now. So we got it zeroed, pretty damn good. I might just throw like one or two more rounds just to like confirm, confirm, but that's 36 yards. So this graph that I'm pulling up, this graph that I'm showing on the screen right now is why I went with the 36 yard zero. Um, you could go with whatever zero you really want. And then as long as you just shoot enough, just learn your holds for different distances. And it really doesn't matter what your zero is as long as you know what your zero is and it's hitting exactly where you want um, at what distances, to be honest with you. 
So I think um, I have my reduced, I don't know what size steel this is. It's less than a C-zone, obviously, it's the size of my head. I think it's like uh, six inches by like 13 or something like that. Uh, I'm just gonna set that up down range. I don't know how far for right now and then just try to shoot it. I might move that other target down to 50 and shoot in different spots. I do have a little drill I want to try. My friend um, sent me, he did a training class this weekend and he told me to try to beat his time. So I'm just trying to get used to this LPVO. So this is my first experience with LPVOs. We're just on the range, shooting around, having some fun, LARPing in the desert. Move the cardboard out to 50 and the steel, whatever small thing of steel that was, about 75. These are all estimates. It was just me pacing it out, thinking it's that distance. So we're just gonna shoot around um, and then I don't know where we're going from that. Looking at the wrong reticle there. All right, so we're gonna try it with the timer with the suppressor on. I know sometimes it doesn't like to pick up the, uh, shots with the suppressor but we're gonna try it anyway and then uh see what the times are so i believe my friend's time was like 11:91, maybe and he's like beat my time so that's what we're out here trying to do got the lpvo zeroed um i've never shot prone before so it's gonna be a new one uh, we're just gonna throw it out there the first time and see how we do um goal is all a zone hits i know that's not gonna happen so i'll be happy with all c zones um and we'll go from there So it only picked up four shots. It's at 1390. I don't know if that was the last shot it picked up, possibly since it was standing. Probably didn't get the shot from prone, but we're gonna have to do that one, one or two more times, because that was actually kind of fun. I know I missed the target at least once, maybe twice. All right, double checking those. Three C zones, two deltas. So we're all on paper at least, but let's try to make that faster, clean it up a little bit. Pretty fun drill. Try this one out. Um, also, safety in between every shot. So, re-engage safety, disengage it, you know. Completely missed that last shot. So it's 1402. I feel like it's better than that. I'm gonna try to take the suppressor off. It's a little hot right now. I'm gonna try to take it off, redo this so um, it's not like getting like the echo off the mountains or something. I don't know. Good enough for me. All right, well, I'm pretty hyped on that shot. I've never shot at distance like this before in my life. Um, pretty sick, first shot, nailed it. So I guess my zero is pretty decent. Um, just gonna try to shoot it maybe one more time. I don't even remember where I was holding, if I was holding at the bottom, dead center, or right over it. Um, just gonna go for it again.
gonna send some from the back of the truck. That's it, so I drove the truck up on that hill, probably about 10, 15 yards back, more than I was when I was laying, but just send a couple. I don't know if I'm gonna hit any. Got that many left. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're gonna hit any, but. I think I grazed it. It's moving. I don't know if I got a good hit on it. Send another one down. I'm nailing that. Where are you at? And now, just for fun, since we got like seven, eight rounds left, um, and a suppressor. It's gonna get really hot, but gotta do some uh, zeroing of some other stuff after this, so. Do it right next to the camera. So anyone that normally shoots at a distance probably doesn't think this is cool at all, but I'm pretty excited for it because this is the first time, uh, this is the first time for me that I've ever shot at this distance. Um, and I've been getting some hits on it, so pretty hyped on that. So from where the truck was to the steel was about 75 yards. Um, we might be about 150, 200-ish right now. Um, and it is a pretty small steel, so pretty hyped. So while I'm waiting for that suppressor to cool down to kind of head out, give my thoughts, I guess. So when you're, like I was saying earlier, when you are, adjusting your camera when you are choosing your zero pick whatever zero you want and then just practice with that figure it out it's not the end of the world it's not one's better than the other just pick one do that and just go with it it kind of depends on which type of shooting you're going to do more frequently so that's where you would probably want to start off with your zero if you're doing mostly long distance i would say just start off with a longer zero then you're working off of that. So if you start at like 100 yards zero, you're already starting with a dead center hit at 100 yards on what you're holding. And then on the other hand, if you do like a 36 yard or a 50 yard zero, you kind of have to learn your holds. So once again, I'm gonna put the different zeros on the screen with your different holds. I originally was planning on doing a 50 yard zero. And then after seeing the chart where 36 yard, basically all A zone hits, up to 300 yards and then like 350 is when you have to start like holding more um it's kind of to me it was like a no-brainer to do that i do have my 300 black build that um i'm gonna probably do the same zero on that one um especially considering that's gonna be more close range but at the end of the day you're really choosing whichever one works out best for you and your shooting style or what drills or practicing or whatever you like to do more often pick a zero based around that and go with that so I know you clicked in this video thinking, what is the best zero for my optic? And this random guy that's on YouTube that's just standing in the desert probably knows best for me. And uh, I don't. The so best zero for your gun is actually, doesn't fucking matter. What you wanna be doing is go out there, pick a zero. Um, once again, I'll flash the ones on the screen, the common ones, pick one of them, go with that, shoot that, zero your rifle to that, and then just learn the holds for every distance, and then just don't even think about it after that. So the thing is with your um, those holds for 36 yard or 50 yard, that is with a 16 inch barrel. So obviously different length barrels are gonna um, affect your holds and whatnot. So like I said, just pick one, train with it, and go with it. So 36 yard and also the 50, um, you're kind of aiming up, your optic is aiming down. So at 36 yards or 50 yards, they meet there, especially after 50 yards, your 200 yard hit is almost dead center as well. That's after the bullet traveled up and back down, you kind of hit at 200 again, 
which is just a different distance, pretty similar with a 36 yard zero. Just pick one, stop thinking about it. So all in all, just a uh, decent time out on the range, just doing some stuff. Um, if you have any drills you can think of that I might enjoy to do, drop them down below, even with a link or whatever, just so I could try them, because I'm always down to do stuff. I've been shooting more handgun, because that's what I carry daily, and that's what I'm more most likely to use in one of those shit hits the fan situations, whatever. Um, that's what I'm more likely to use, so I want to be more proficient with my handgun. But since I got the suppressor and just whatnot, I've been enjoying shooting my AR a lot more. So I'm probably just gonna come out and shoot the AR a lot more, but, Got to deal with ammo. It's like an ammo shortage going on, so we'll deal with that when uh, when we have to, I guess. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I am shadow banned. I don't know if it's really technically shadow banned because they told me they were not going to share my content, but hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me down below, comments and whatnot, and do all that stuff. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay strapped or get clapped. Also, use those Amazon links. Helps me out.